Hi there, my name is Sean McManus. I'm here to speak about the recent surveys I completed for HSM 101 AT3. The strengths of the surveys are that they covered a little bit of background information on the participant, as well as easy to fill out for the participant because they were broken down into each different food category. I believe there was 10 categories. Uh, limitations of the surveys were that um, participants may get confused between the two surveys and give incorrect answers. That's the likes and dislikes of the survey and the food frequency questionnaire. And although, although they cover a lot of food groups, uh, not every single food was covered in the survey, so it cannot 100% portray um, the diet. I found the, the surveys relatively easy to fill out because I prepare my own food and know what goes into them and eat the same foods most days. Uh, the main challenges for the researchers going forward is that it's not, it doesn't capture the wider population and people may have problems recalling their diet or dishonest in their answers. Thank you.